I'm only going to read a couple more verses and I'm done preaching. Acts chapter 14, verse 8. Everyone that has a Bible uh, or a screen can look at it right now. Verse 8 of Acts 14, it says, In Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting, a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. This is redundant. He said the man couldn't walk three different ways. No strength in his feet, crippled from his mother's womb, had never walked. Why was this language so precise? Because it was written by a medical doctor. And is there anything more potentially glorious than when you're reading the story of someone's divine healing written by a medical doctor. He's not going to exaggerate. He's not going to emotionalize it. Doctors are used to prescribing medication to an nth degree. And every word is valid and right and credible and undeniable. The important backdrop to our story is that this man had never had any exposure to the gospel. That is America. Our children do not know the Bible. They don't know the God that made our nation great. So this story is a very hopeful story. It's the story of how the power of the word of God is able to come in situations that are absolutely impossible. Lystra is a pagan city. Let me tell you what's about to happen. There is the greatest festival of the pagans that they have. They have these massive carts. The term juggernaut that you've heard comes from the description of the wheels. These were juggernaut wheels. And on them were laden vast stores of fruits and garlands and offering to the pagan gods. And right before the Super Bowl of pagan worship, a miracle is about to happen. And it's a catalyst to change. You may believe that it's going to take years to ta change California. You might believe in your heart that the depth of paganism, witchcraft, and intellectualism is too deep and too, too well sophisticated for, and too many layers for it to be peeled off by one revival. But the fact is that this one miracle ruined that entire celebration ruined it and we're going to ruin the devil's plans for California we're going to ruin them now look at verse 9 it said this man heard Paul speaking any wife will tell you there's a difference between listening and listening Because we hear what you said, but we didn't really listen to it. If you tell us to recite the words you used, we will give you various versions of it. Because we're distracted, sadly. But this man gave the apostle his undivided attention. I'm going to ask for that right now. You see where you're sitting right down here? One, two, three, fourth row. There's a sister right here, right there. Raise your hand, dear. You knew exactly who I was talking about. You know, you need to be healed. You need to be healed in Jesus' name. You need to begin to walk without pain for the first time in years. It's been years since you didn't have pain. And you know what's amazing is the way God's going to heal you is not by me praying for you, but by you praying for someone else. So I want you to take your right hand, place it on that dear lady in the red. Dear, some of this might be new to you. But God loves you and he's healing you. Would you let him heal you? Would you let him heal? You know that you have 
multiple conditions in your body that Christ is healing. You're like that leper. You're being healed. You don't have leprosy, thank God. But you're being healed. Now, is there anyone with you here tonight? You have had a very hard road you've had to walk this year. This has been the most difficult year of your entire life. And there are people you love that you have lost. And it has broken your heart. Right? It's true. I, I'm going to submit to all of you that this woman is going to have a creative miracle. And when it's done, and I want you to... I want you to hold your applause. How many of you feel the presence of God just came in this place? I'm going to ask you, even though it's difficult, to try to stand. Now, I'm going to ask my sister to stand up that's right next to her. And I want you to stand up, dear. I want you to look at me, and I want you to act like a healing evangelist. I want you to look at me and get, me, get you an attitude. You're in a tent. That Hammond B3 is boiling. And revival is in your heart. Now, what's going to happen is she's going to be healed of multiple diseases. And it begins in your head, right in your eyes, goes to your neck goes to your spine, your heart, your stomach, your legs, your lower back, your hips. And God is giving you new arms and legs right now. Do you feel the power of God in this house? Do you feel the power of God? Now, my dear, Healing evangelists, here's what's going to happen to you. Your lungs are being healed. Your legs and arms and shoulders are being healed. It's the truth, isn't it? It's absolutely right what I'm saying. Now, I want you to put your hand gently on her forehead. And I want you to say in the name of Jesus, I want you to rise up and walk. Rise up and walk in the power and in the name of Jesus that is above every name. Now you're feeling the power of God going through your body, aren't you, dear? Now look at me. You can take your hand away. Dear, raise both your arms right there in the red. Raise them up. Move them around like this. Move your neck. Start moving your legs a little bit. You feel that? Now, how about if you give God the glory for your healing? And I'm going to tell you why. I want everyone in that row, on this side of her, stand up. Everyone on this side of her, stand up. Make room for her. That is, a, that is royalty in the name of Jesus. Dear, take her by the hand. Walk her to the aisle right now. Because all, somebody get excited. There's miracle in that. I feel the angels of God are in this house right now. This woman could not barely move. She's up and walking around by the power of Jesus Christ. Somebody give God the glory. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of... Now... I want you to let go of her. Let go of her. Honey, start walking. Start walking. Is there a hallelujah in the house? Is there a glory to God in the house? Let her go back to her seat. Let us rejoice a little bit longer, a little bit longer. <laughs>